Day 2. And today I will be putting the greenhouse out. I kind of am um, filming a lot later in the day because I had church this morning and then I had to come home and help clean the house. And obviously cleaning the house isn't very much fun. So, um, yeah, I'll show you us um, in the process of getting the greenhouse out of the garage. So, this is um, my greenhouse. If you didn't know, I really like plants. And we have a greenhouse, but we can't have it out during the uh, winter because it'd like blow away and like snow and stuff. Obvious reason. So it's in my garage, or my parents' garage. And if you see what that is right there, we're gonna make it so you can open the back. Like that, that piece right there will slide down and then the back will open. And right here is the, the door to the whole thing. And we'll be able to open the door and then air will go through there. And I might be able to keep my iguana in this, like in a cage or something. But I don't know because it might be way too hot. Because I, I know it's gotten to like 110 degrees, which I know is like their basking spot. But I don't know how I'd build, their cage, uh, build a cage to go in here. So, I don't know. That, that might be something to do. But um, hopefully it'll be cool enough in here that I'll be able to put all the plants that are inside right now out here because la last year, like, everything would pretty much die if I, like, any tropical plants, even tropical plants would probably die in here. I don't know. Maybe I didn't, like, spray it down enough. I probably need to, like, spray it down with a hose or something like that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this before we got it out. Here, this is where we'll be putting the greenhouse um, on this pile of rocks. And it's kind of leveled out with those things. And, uh, yeah, it's right here. I will show you once. Again. Okay, so we're now moving it it's out of the garage. If you can see this, we kind of got that situated differently here with plexiglass instead. But we are moving it over to where you'll be seeing it. Now. It is here, my greenhouse. So this is my uh, nice, I guess you could say, little greenhouse. And maybe, possibly, I could have my iguana in here during the summer. But the only reason is that, because last year, it got way too hot in here. Like, literally, I wasn't even, I wouldn't even feel safe putting um, anything in here, like plants, really. I, I had some, but not a lot. But now we have this, and it's completely, like, I'm, I'm not, like, I can stick my hand right out. But there's this plexiglass, which... It's really hard to move. We need to fix it. But it goes up over there. And then you take this piece. And you put it under so it stays there. But during the summer on the really hot days. There's my chihuahua. We um, have this open. And we have that open. Or we will. And then the uh, air will go right through. Because it gets really hot in here. And heat obviously as you know goes up right. Well actually apparently cold air goes down and pushes the heat up um and the heat will go out of there and stuff there was so many bugs like let's see i had like three frogs and all the moths in the world and i think a praying mantis just live here now the, the praying mantis actually ended up being cooked because it was so hot up there and that's where all the bugs were trying to get out but it's pretty much impossible like you can you can lift up here that's not actually um like that's not actually nailed down or whatever so they could go out there but other than that there was really no other way so I'm gonna take my 20 gallon long that I do tankscapes and I'm gonna put it right on the shelf and then I'm gonna fill it up with water so it always stays humid in here right here is a trash bag so apparently if you leave a black trash bag um, if you leave a black trash bag with stuff in it in the Sun then it'll get really hot inside and then uh, if there's any bugs or anything on it, so I will just like cook. So I have some wood and some outside dirt that I'm gonna put in my iguana's cage um, in there, and I put it inside the greenhouse. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you me moving the uh, tank into here. Okay, let's see if I can get this really heavy tank off the ground. Okay. Okay. So now 
it is in here. And it still has the last tank scape. I need to work on one for this week. But if I slid it onto those bars, something would break. And I don't want that to happen. If you didn't know, I'm breathing really hard because I didn't think about all the rocks that were in here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to be taking those out now. And I'm going to leave the dirt in here because I'm going to still do tank scapes in here. But it's going to be filled with water. And you're going to see that. Hey guys, so if you can hear the water, I'm finishing filling up the tank, and I might be putting a fish in it, but probably not, I don't know. If I get another, like, small minnow from the, uh, creek, I'll probably put it in, but that's the tank I still will do tank scapes in, just there'll be water in it now, which will be kind of cool or kind of bad, depending on what kind of wood I'm going to be using. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish filling that up, and now I'm actually going to go cut cut up some food for my iguana but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did like it down below if you have any comments or concerns or questions um put it in the comments below and if you want more content again there'll be another vlog tomorrow and um i'm going on vacation later this week and i'll be filming that so if you enjoyed the, this video and you want more content subscribe